Six hours later, and the slides are done. And that's just scratching the surface of what's possible with Google Analytics. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, keep building the business you love. 49 minutes, that is a new record. Yes, 73 slides, 49 minutes, six and a half hours, we're done. So seven hours later, we are done with the Google Analytics tutorial for 2019 and I've just completed the last video for July. So I'm super excited because now I'm officially one full month ahead on content. It's just a great place to be because it's just like a giant weight off my shoulders knowing that I can relax when I'm making videos because they don't have to come out for several weeks. And if something changes or screws up or we wanna take a little bit more time with the editing or redoing something, I, okay, that's that's a lie. I never, I never redo stuff. But if we need to take more time with editing or do more on the slides, then we can. So it's just nice to have breathing room as opposed to I record on Monday and it needs to go out the next Monday, kind of like with these vlogs. But it's, it's a lot more casual with the vlogs. Anyway, content done. Now it's time to test everyone's favorite funnel piece of software to talk about click funnels because even though I'm not a huge fan of it mostly because of the page speed problems that we're having with our clients I still constantly get questions okay you reviewed click funnels almost 3 years ago now so has it changed well that is what I'm going to find out today so today I'm going to sign up and pay for another month or two of click funnels and actually go through building some funnels and just testing out the functionality, stress testing it. I'm not gonna pay for traffic to those funnels. There's no way I, I, I have that kind of cash to burn, but I am going to do everything else under the sun in terms of testing their integrations, testing their webinar funnels, testing their integrations with email autoresponders because we have three of them to try out. So essentially just figure out is, is what's what's improved with ClickFunnels and what has actually been the same because we're gonna be doing, or I'm gonna be doing some more review, updated review videos of ClickFunnels and then comparing it to some other pieces of software, especially now that Optimize Press 3 is finally around the corner. They finally released beta, although I'm never, I'm just not gonna recommend you do business with that company because they just take way too long. I'm rambling now, time to grab some lunch and then dive into this whole ClickFunnels thing and I'll just tell you my first impressions and see if they have in fact really upped their game since the last time I was in there. So after four hours of playing with ClickFunnels, we can definitively say that no, they have definitely not upped their game in terms of features. Something that I did notice though, going through just the onboarding process and then the new interface and on the front end is they've definitely changed how they bring people into their software. And based upon the onboarding process and how they've changed things, it really, really, I think, illustrates how ClickFunnels is designed for someone who has never heard of funnels before. Like the the entire onboarding sequence was specifically designed for, de dined, specifically designed for someone who had no idea what the heck a funnel was, which is interesting because I always thought that someone would have been educated by that process given their marketing, but uh, I guess not. So what I want to do is show you the two funnel or the one funnel I set up, I set up split testing at each level and then show you what the funnel looks like on WordPress and Thrivecart and you'll be able to see what little difference there actually is. So I'm inside the demo ClickFunnels account right now, and I'm just gonna quickly rapid fire through the landing, through the sales funnel here. So this is a landing page I set up. Now, obviously we could get a lot more in depth with our design. So landing page, then we go to a sales page, then we go to a checkout, and then we go to the confirmation. And then we have actually a duplicate of the sales page, a duplicate of our landing page, same sales page, and then a split test for the checkout, and a, you can actually split test the confirmation page, which I think is actually pretty cool. I don't think uh, any other software I've used so far has actually allowed me to split test the confirmation page. But if we go over to the current funnel, this is Thrive Themes. This is just WP Bakery. If you're not familiar with that, it's a $50 WordPress plugin. Like it's, it's the most basic thing you can get to build a page. 
And then we have our replay page where someone can actually scroll through. Something that you can do on WordPress that you can't do on ClickFunnels is set up the button so that it actually shows up when someone watches a specific point in the video. So if we look at the ClickFunnels ones, you can only have this a time delay. So if someone's skipping around the video and they see the offer, that's 47 minutes that they're supposed to wait for the button to show up, as opposed to what my business partner was able to do, because I don't know how to do this, is as soon as someone actually reaches pat the point past the offer, you'll see that, and we'll pause that there, the Enroll Now button actually shows up. And this is integrated with Thrivecart, so you just click and then the uh, option to buy shows up. The cookies know that I've seen it more than 24 hours, so it's closed, so if incognito it would work, but this is what the Thrivecart checkout looks like. So just to, just to illustrate before I go on my little rant here, this is the checkout from Thrivecart, 600 bucks one time, and then this is the checkout from ClickFunnels, $100 a month or 1000 bucks a year. And then this is the landing, oops, here we go. But then this is a landing page from ClickFunnels. And then this is a landing page from Thrive Themes. We have our sales page that's used with a $50 WordPress plugin and a really simple line of code from Stack Overflow to delay the button. And then we have ClickFunnels at $100 a month for this page or for this page. Obviously, you could do a little bit more in both instances. But all that to say, is ClickFunnels worth $100 a month based upon what you just saw with those pages? Now keep in mind, all of those pages do work, right? So the Thrive Theme page works, the ClickFunnels page works, but there's a huge difference in price that you're paying. And so I think the big, the big draw to ClickFunnels is number one, if someone just is super against learning any sort of technology, then yeah, great, ClickFunnels is nice, but so is GetResponse and it's half the price, right? And then the other problem too is you just don't need all of those features. I think if you're doing anything, the most advanced thing that ClickFunnels could do that might actually justify the price is now they have those kind of survey style funnels where you're able to ask a bunch of questions. Although based upon what I've been reading about those, you can't actually use that information to change your email sequences, which means it's about as useful as what you can do with the Thrive Themes a survey style plugin. So my initial impressions of ClickFunnels no, it's definitely not worth $100 and very little has been done to update it. They've definitely spent a lot of time on their onboarding process and making it the software easier to use. But in terms of the actual functionality, if you already are familiar with a drag and drop page builder, the drag and drop interface is just as good, if not a little worse than what you would get with Thrive Themes, Optimize Press, Get Response, Lead Pages, and probably Kartra and Kajabi as well. So there's not a whole lot of differentiation anymore. And I think it's just gonna come down to personal preference. But for me, for me, I wouldn't recommend ClickFunnels based upon what I've seen so far. Again, I've only been at it for about four and a half hours and I've only put together one funnel, but it's just not, it's just not worth it. You saw, you could put together the same thing on WordPress. I mean, all you need, all you need is a landing page, a thank you page with the sales video on it, and then a shopping cart, and that's it. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I'm hard pressed to find a reason that you really should choose ClickFunnels over all of the less expensive or less contrived options. The only place that I think ClickFunnels really shines is the ability to split test because it makes it so, so easy to split test. And if you already have a bunch of traffic, that's really important. Although most people who are just starting they just need to split test their landing page because they don't have all of that traffic yet. We have some clients that are spending gobs of money on Facebook ads and YouTube ads. And so it makes sense for them to pay for something like this where split testing an upsell page or split testing a checkout sequence is literally the difference between you know 5000 and $20,000 for the month. So in that particular instance, sure, it makes sense. But if you're not at that point yet, I think just don't bother. So thank you so much for watching. I'll definitely be updating you more as I go through the software and dig deeper and compare it to other things. But for now, I'm gonna keep my recommendation at not buying ClickFunnels. So until the next, keep building the business you love.